Battle of the price points. Today we're looking at houses around a million dollars in Sacramento versus Sedona, Arizona. I am Marvin Hooker. And I'm Nicole Chuck. We are from your Sacktown Living Real Estate team. On this channel, you can expect for us to talk about real estate and real people shit. Enjoy. Let's go. So the house that I found is in Sacramento County. It's in Folsom, California. Actually, the address is 147 Hopfield Drive. It is listed by Jonathan Minerick of Homecoin. So this is a three bedroom, two bath house. That was a lie. It's a four bedroom, three bath house. It's a little over 2,500 square feet. It sits on half an acre and it was built in 1993. So this home is stunning, but it is a little bit older, I would say, like compared to, you know, fully renovated homes, but it still has a lot of really good charm. One thing I really like about this house is the kitchen because it has really high end appliances. It has a wolf stove, sub zero fridge. It has a huge wine fridge that holds 147 bottles of wine. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. <clears throat> she doesn't like wine. Why would you need 147? seven bottles of wine in a fridge so they can stay fresh because people keep wine i know you don't like wine so people keep wine for like years because it a gets wine better lesson. with age and so and you have to keep it in the fridge well like for it to last longer like it's better to have it temperature controlled so it shouldn't okay. like whites are colder but reds like you don't usually put them in like the traditional so fridge do you put it in state. the microwave before you drink no. it no <laughs> <laughs> Like reds, traditionally you don't put in like, or like you don't put in like a traditional fridge for it to be cold. Right. But you, you want it to be like at a certain room, temperature. Room yeah. temperature, and then you have to get the aerator, right? You, you need to like. Yes, yeah, you, you get need it. You need it to Should breathe. we just be sommeliers? What's that mean? It's like a wine connoisseur. Okay, back to this house. 147 <laughs> bottles of wine. So it has the Sub-Zero fridge for your regular refrigerator needs. It has the wine fridge that fits 147 bottles. And then in the island, it has two built-in refrigerator mm -hmm. drawers. So you could store like beer, soda. Or what I really like about the refrigerator drawers is you can put your fruits and vegetables yes. in there. So when you're making a salad or whatever you make a lot of. Like, uh -huh. so, so you can stock it with whatever you want and you can be those, you know, crazy organized people who fit all of their things perfectly in the drawer. Or you could just throw your shit everywhere and every day it's like a treasure hunt. Real people shit right there. Okay, and then this house also has a great backyard that has a pool, a spa. So in the summer, you're gonna be cool. In the winter, you can go out and get in the spa or you can get in the spa in the summer year round. So yeah, so let me just walk you through a couple of pictures of this house and show you this beauty. So first up, you've got really great landscaping out in the front, two car garage, moving into the living room. You've got open space with the dining room, a little pocket window. I don't know what that's called, but a little window that peeps through from the kitchen area. Then right here, you can see those two refrigerator drawers yes. inside of the island. And then behind you is that wine fridge, great wolf stove, gas top stove. I'm a sucker for a gas top stove. Gas top stove, but that's just me. Here's another view of the kitchen for you. And then just kind of so you get the whole vibe of it. Was there not a dishwasher? There was. Right there. I was like, there's no dishwasher? There's a dishwasher. <laughs> there's a dishwasher. Don't worry. Yes, yes. At a million dollars, I would hope that there's That's a dishwasher. That's why I was shocked. I'm like, wait, I'm looking at these pictures with you. I'm like, where's the dishwasher? Right. Important. Important. Yes. That's like real yeah that is real <laughs> i need a dishwasher all right we'll jump back into this so this is the primary suite so you can kind of see like where the bathroom is in there this is the bathroom you've got closet great mirrors let's take a look at the backyard you've got the pool and the spa they sit right next to each other with a fire pit so this backyard i think is just like a great place to relax day or night have people over host yeah, definitely. Well, and I like behind it. You don't have people behind you. Yes, yeah, that's a good point. You don't have people behind you. So no creepers while you're in the pool or anything like that. Here's another view of the backyard. So you can see you kind of have a covered patio area as well with a dining table that you can put there. So those are kind of some great features that I love about this house. It's just over a million dollars, again, in Folsom, California, which is part of Sacramento County, but it's where you get a little bit closer to things. So I'll let you talk about your house and then we'll talk about then location. We'll, we'll talk about your things. Yeah. You got things. I have things too. 
All right, so the house that I chose is 110 Frisco Trail in Sedona, Arizona. Mm -hmm. It is listed by Carol P. I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name just because I, I don't wanna butcher it. She is with Real Estate Brokers of Sedona. Okay, so I know we're waiting to talk about location, but I can't help but describe the location because look at this. This is the front of the house. It is located in Sedona. When you think of Sedona, what do you think? You think of mountains, Sedona. Mountains, yeah. <laughs> you Sedona. think of the mountains. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a bit confused. In the listing that I'm looking at, it says it's a three bedroom, three bathroom. The pictures only have two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Either way, well, I'm happy with both. Yeah. This is just an incredible house. When you walk in, of course, you have this amazing living room area. It has the two sliding glass doors going into the backyard. We'll get there in a minute. It opens up to the dining and the kitchen. And it just, it's the feeling. Like, you know what I mean when you are expecting a vibe. So if you're going to Tahoe, you're expecting like the wooded vibe. Mm -hmm. If you're going somewhere in the city, you want those clean modern lines, rooftop terrace. We've talked about those in other videos. Yeah. So this to me really just gives the vibe of Sedona. The kitchen has granite countertops, wine fridge, not 147 <laughs> bottles. Thank you very much. It has a gas cooktop stove. It's just really nice and it's warm and inviting. It opens up to the dining room area, which has these large windows again. So you're getting the beautiful views that Sedona has to offer. Yeah, I will say I do really love a skylight because it just brings in so much natural light like throughout the day. So this home has two suites. The first is the primary suite which is the bedroom. And then on that bedroom has a full bathroom. This has separate showers and tubs and it's a full ensuite bathroom. The second bedroom is what's called a junior suite. So it too, just maybe not as big, has a full bedroom, full bathroom attached. Now let's get to what you've been waiting for, right? The back, yeah. You have your hot tub literally in the mountain. So when it's snowing, you can be in the hot tub, soaking in the views. When it's a beautiful, clear, starry night, like you're one with nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is fabulous. I will um, say that's pretty cool. <laughs> leading down is your flagstone pathway. I'm gonna let the pictures just do the talking. It, it's just incredible. And then in the backyard between your hot tub and your house, you do have this amazing backyard. So each of the bedrooms have their own so you can get in and out of the home without having to actually go through the main living areas if you so desired. That's cool. And the backyard offers a built-in barbecue, entertaining area for entertaining. And just again, like you're you're so <laughs> one with nature. You are in the backyard <laughs> and you are in Sedona. It has a lot to offer in the way of whatever your living style may may be there. I feel like this can be very accommodating. These are super nice pictures. I mean, obviously this is what I would think when I think Sedona off the top of my head. Can I just let everybody know I found a place that Marvin has not been to. So thank oh, you very much. I haven't been to Sedona. Uh, I have a friend who lives there who's been telling me to visit. Shout out to you, Connie. She's a children's book author, Connie Tate. Check her out. I have been to Sedona because I love the world of energetics uh -huh. uh, and I've been there too and two times, three times and, and it really looks like the pictures. You know how sometimes like it's reality versus Instagram and they show yeah. the difference? Uh -huh. Sedona really looks like the pictures. How it looks. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I'll have to make a trip down there. I am going to talk a little bit about where this house is located. So it's in Folsom, which is right off of Folsom Lake. Folsom State Park. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of really great outdoor activity. The views around Folsom are just spectacular. As you can kind of see, like when we looked at the backyard, how it kind of has a hill that goes behind it. That's because Folsom like is very hilly, ter her hilly, terrainy. I don't terrainy. know. So being able to access all of this like within 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes is really nice. Folsom also has really great shopping, mm -hmm. food, restaurants, movies. You kind of get like the outdoor feel mm -hmm. and then it has everything that you would need in like your daily regular life. Mm -hmm. This area also has very good schools according to Niche. All of the schools in the area are like A and A plus. And then um, just in terms of proximity to downtown Sacramento, you're about 15, 20 minutes. So tell us about Sedona, what we don't know. What do you not know about Sedona? I'm not a Sedona expert, but I'm learning a lot. So this house that I picked, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you a story. I originally from a little town up near Yosemite just for people who are all over the world that might be watching this video for point of reference. And what we really liked about where I lived was I was off the beaten path because a lot of tourists come. So this home is roughly 10 to 15 minutes from all the major iconic places you're gonna take your pictures, but it's about 20 minutes from town where like mm -hmm. the Whole Foods and the, the grocery stores and any of the essentials. When you are living in a place that has a lot of tourists, you wanna be off the beaten path. Mm -hmm. You wanna be able to, in this case, be in your backyard, enjoy the beauty of what that you know destination has to offer, mm -hmm. but not be bogged down by the tourist. Just you decide. Um, let us know what you think, the house in Folsom or the house in Sedona, which is better? Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like on this video, subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our upcoming videos and drop a comment on which house you think was better. You can also find us on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is at moveswithmarvin. And I'm at Your Sacktown Living or Nicole Chuck.